This is Fantasy Hoops Fast Break. Good to see you. Welcome on in. Glad to have you. Lauren Shahadi alongside fantasy basketball writer Sergio Gonzalez. Ben Gordon, Tayshawn Prince, Richard Hamilton. The Pistons are getting healthy. It's about darn time, Serge. Yeah, fantasy owners have been waiting for this for a while. They were all able to return against the Toronto Raptors on Sunday. Uh, what we're worried about here is that this could mean less production for players like Rodney Stuckey and Jonas Urepko. These are players that were able to step up for the uh, Detroit Pistons in the absence of these players. We, we think that players like Rodney Stuckey and Ben Gordon will be fine, but keep a close eye on what this means for Richard Hamilton, for Jonas Urepko, and for Tayshaun Prince. This week will go a long way in determining exactly what fantasy uh, appeal they'll have going forward. And with the Pistons playing just two games this week, we don't think you're going to be uh, starting your Pistons, so we think this is a good week to just keep an eye on them. All right, Serge, you know what? We've been talking about Allen Iverson this season. He's been a fantasy conversation. Uh, now we're going to see him and Lou Williams on the same floor. Fantasy implications. Yeah, this is the first time that we're going to see both players healthy going into this four-game week that the Sixers are going to be playing. So obviously this is something fantasy owners are going to want to keep a close eye on. Lou Williams averaged a 15-5-3 and three line while uh, before Allen Iverson's arrival in, in Philadelphia. Is that something that he's going to be able to average going forward? We aren't sure. Uh, we expect both players to play a lot of point guard and shooting guard. Both players are able to play each position. Uh, this week is just going to be something to keep a close eye on and see exactly who's going to be the, the better guard there going forward. Uh, my inclination is that it's going to be Lou Williams being the, the higher rated fantasy guard, and then it's going to be Allen Iverson, but we're going to start seeing that this week. All right, Tracy McGrady could be on the move, and soon guys might be watching their back. He could take their spot where he's going. Yeah, this is actually a move that's going to have implications not only in Houston, but also wherever he could land. The uh, reports that we're hearing is that his agent is going to meet with the Rockets this week. They're going to start working on a trade. Uh, one name that we're hearing uh, bandied about is Kevin Martin of the Sacramento Kings. And that would actually be bad news for players like Trevor Ariza and Aaron Brooks in Houston because a player like Kevin Martin would obviously have a big impact in the rotation in Houston. So keep an eye not only on what this does to the Houston Rockets, but also where uh, Tracy McGrady ends up because it's going to have impacts on both teams. A lot of moving going on, Serge. I tell you what, as you change your rotation for the week, you know what? The Portland Trailblazers of Lasers are doing the very same thing in the front court and in the back court. Yeah, they've had to make some moves this week, and that's really due to the uh, injury to Joel Prisbilla. His, his uh, season ending injury on top of the injury to Greg Oden has created a situation where Juwan Howard is playing big minutes really for the first time in a couple years. He's been playing 30 plus minutes per game. That's actually something I don't think he's going to be able to maintain. And with the Blazers having a lot of depth in the backcourt with players like Andre Miller, players like Jared Bayless, and also Steve Blake, they're a prime candidate for a trade where they can trade away some of that depth to uh, add more depth in the, in the front court where that's really where they're lacking. So keep an eye on this. If this develops, this is a situation where Juwan Howard can be useful for now. I just don't think you should rely on him long term. Don't rely on him long term. Rely on us, right? Sergio, owners, this is where we play first game back stats. We are starting with... Ty Thomas, 21 points. Look at those stats. Nine rebounds. But you're thinking the coach thing could kind of... Yeah, Ty Thomas, he's a, he's a player that we, we thought of uh, highly coming into the season, what he can contribute in blocks and in rebounds, and what we saw on Saturday with 21 points, what he can contribute when he puts it all together. He can be a high-end fantasy player. His problem in the past has been his consistency. He's been a very irregular player. He's been very up and down. And the situation in Chicago right now doesn't uh, bode well for... Uh, him all of a sudden becoming consistent. Coach Vinny Del Negro could be on his way out. That could happen this week. And if that happens, then we could be looking at uh, team-wide changes in yeah, the rotation. That's right. And it could change stats and affect you. And you want to keep an eye on that right here on CBSSports.com. We'll talk to you soon. Start him, sit him on Thursday. We'll see you then. For Sergio Gonzalez, I'm Lauren Shahadi. We'll see you soon.